BMW now has a full electric flagship model of fitting stature in its i range of designs, this car, the iX. It's a large luxury SUV aimed directly at the Audi e-tron, the Jaguar I-Pace and the Mercedes EQC and it showcases everything the company knows about zero emissions motoring. As it turns out, that's quite a lot. There's a choice of three iX variants, all using the same twin motor, four-wheel drive configuration. Things kick off with the iX xDrive 40, which has 326 horsepower, a 71 kilowatt hour plus battery pack with a 257 mile range, and when driven less frugally, a rest to 62 mile an hour time of just 6.1 seconds on the way to 124 miles an hour. The alternative iX xDrive 50 flagship model has 523 horsepower, a 105.2 kilowatt hour battery pack with a range of up to 380 miles and can get to 62 miles an hour in 4.7 seconds en route to the same top speed. The summit of the iX range is marked by the M60 version, which uses the same bigger battery as the 50 series model, but mates it with an even more powerful 619 horsepower electric motor total output, delivered with up to 1,100 newton meters of torque. The range reading, 357 miles, is still acceptable and 62 miles an hour flashes by in just 3.8 seconds on the way to an electronically limited maximum of 155 miles an hour. Across the iX range, BMW wants to set a fresh handling standard for large luxury EV crossovers in this class. So great efforts have been made to trim weight from the aluminium intensive chassis, which isn't completely bespoke for EV use, but has a unique carbon cage mounted upon it for the main body structure. The ride quality on offer from the five link rear axle is difficult to better in the class, even with the base xDrive 40 models standard passive lift related damping system. Ideally, you'd want BMW's two-axle air suspension setup, optional on the 40, but standard on the 50 and 60 models, which comes with electronically controlled dampers and is mated to active rear wheel steering. On the move, the driver can choose high, moderate or low brake energy regeneration settings or leave the system to do its own thing in adaptive mode. There are three My Mode Drive settings, Personal, Sport and Efficient, and there's an iconic Sounds Electric artificial EV soundtrack, though we think after trying it, you'll prefer to turn that off and savour this BMW's astonishing refinement. It even handles quite a lot like a BMW should, the stiff chassis admirably resisting body lean and the electromechanical steering providing accurate feedback. Hooked up to a DC rapid public charger, 10 to 80% battery replenishment takes between 31 and 34 minutes. The 50 and 60 models aided by the ability to DC charge at rates of up to 195 kilowatts. With a typical 7.4 kilowatt AC garage wall box, you're looking at 11 and a half hours to charge the xDrive 40 to full from empty. It would be 16 hours 45 minutes for the xDrive 50 or the M60. By and large, BMW doesn't do beautiful, but it is very much a specialist in striking, and this iX is certainly that. It's certainly big, just under 5 metres long, around 2 metres wide, and a fraction under 1.7 metres high. About the same size, in other words, as the company's X5, which BMW claims shares nothing with this car. Like the old i3, there are carbon fibre cores for the windscreen pillars and cant rails, and aluminium honeycomb door sills too. Plus, in this case, carbon fibre reinforced plastic for the roof, all of it intended to allow this car to tip the scales somewhere near the class norm point of around 2.2 tonnes. Inevitably, though, the iX gets nowhere near that benchmark. Think nearly 2.6 tonnes, 650 kilos of which is accounted for by the lithium-ion battery pack. One day, Historians will be shocked that EVs were ever like this. For right now, though, shock 
is exactly what unsuspecting fast lane dawdlers will feel when they suddenly find this huge kidney grill bearing down upon them at warp speed. And in profile, well, the shape may appear a touch ungainly, but it's undeniably aerodynamic with a sleek drag coefficient of just 0.25 cd. There's a wraparound look to the tailgate with thin horizontal rear LED lamps stretching towards the central BMW roundel in an unnecessary attempt to emphasise this car's prodigious width. Time to take a look inside. According to its maker, this car was designed from the inside out, the focus being on what the Bavarian brand calls its lighthouse interior. It's certainly light, especially with this Sky Lounge panoramic roof fitted, and it's certainly not like any BMW you'll ever previously have experienced. There's so much to take in. This curious hexagon-shaped polyagonal steering wheel is difficult to ignore. Your main point of control is a rocker switch for gear selection, and even in a screen-dominated era, the live cockpit professional setup's gently curving, slither-like joined curve display is unusual, apparently floating above the angular dash and incorporating a 12.3 inch instrument setup and a 14.9 inch central infotainment screen. Strange trimming combinations assault the eyes. There's a button rather than a handle to open the door and you sit almost Range Rover high, though here, of course, the raised floor is there for quite a different reason. These unusual quilted leather seats with their plant-based upholstery and integral head restraints set upon it. This centre console's a bit different, designed, BMW says, in the style of a high-quality piece of furniture, and freestanding, so there's a lovely open footwell right across the front of the car. Right! Let's move rearwards. Now, despite the fact that there's over three metres between the axles here, BMW has elected not to make this a seven-seater. So you'll need to choose a Tesla Model X in this class if that's what you need. Still, that decision ought to benefit backseat room. And sure enough, it feels properly spacious back here, aided by these rear quarter-light windows and the kind of completely flat floor that you'd have to do without in rival Porsche Taycan or Audi e-tron GT models, where the centre transmission tunnel, banished here, is excessively high. Because the floor isn't inset with little so-called foot garages, the insets into the lower EV floor plan that you'd get with the rival VW Group luxury EVs just mentioned, your feet are positioned a little higher, but there's plenty of knee space and, unlike with rivals, you don't have to pay extra for rear seat climate controls, which sit beneath these twin central vents. Let's finish with a look in the boot. Now, given nearly five metres of body length, you'd hope for plenty of luggage capacity here. Actually, the powered tailgate with its two-piece parcel shelf rises to reveal a 500 litre space. Not bad, might be your initial thought, until you check rival stats and realise that this is pretty much the same as you'd get from a Jaguar I-Pace or a Mercedes EQC, and they're both significantly smaller SUVs. If you need more space, then activating these cargo sidewall catches flattens the main part of the rear bench. There are also little buttons just inside the rear doors that do the same thing, and that frees up 1,750 litres of space. The game moves on quickly at the top of the EV segment. Here at a stroke is what the next generation of cars in this class will feel like, which is an impressive achievement given that BMW still hasn't quite managed to create the kind of completely bespoke EV platform that a car like this ideally needs. For all that, though, there's so much here that's incredibly intriguing if you're going to bring yourself to like the divisive way this car looks. The dramatic cabin feels like a real step into the future with enough of a quality feel to justify the prodigious pricing. To drive, there's plenty of the brand's DNA, the iX setting new class standards and excelling in terms of refinement and the cleverness of its adaptive brake energy recuperation system. Much more is to come, of course, in terms of technology in this era, and in half a century we'll still look back at cars like this as dinosaurs. But right here, right now, for the extremely well-heeled family EV fanatic, this is where it's at. <laughs>